How to create a job sketch in CFS. Job sketch is a program found on the reports menu of a scratch builder or miscellaneous estimator that allows you to create or fine tune the drawing of your project. This drawing can then be printed on the contract and other reports. There are several ways to produce a drawing in the job sketch program. First, let's take a look at a drawing that comes from QuickDraw. I've already put in my job layout and scaled it. This drawing will show up in the job sketch program after I've estimated it. But I'd like to move a couple of footage numbers before then. Place your cursor over the number you'd like to move, and you should see a move symbol appear. Click and drag the number to its new location. I'll do the same for the gate number. Let me quickly estimate this job. When you've completed your estimate, the first thing you'll see is your quick draw drawing in the job sketch program. Now I could customize this drawing using the job sketch tools. I'll center the drawing a little more using my arrows and I'll draw part of my building in and give it some texture. To select a tool, simply click in the box of that particular tool and click again to place it on your drawing. If you make a mistake, you can always click Undo. There are several more ways that I could customize this drawing, but we'll review those in another tutorial. Let's look at another way to generate a job sketch. Let's say that I wanted to change the orientation of my drawing, or that I entered my job layout using a scratch builder instead of quick draw. I can clear my current drawing and select auto draw. Then I will click where I want the first post to start and click again in the direction that I want the layout to auto draw. Let me recenter the drawing and using my scissor tool, I can still move the footage numbers to where I'd like them. Once again, I can customize this drawing using the job sketch tools. There is one other way to auto generate a job sketch. If I wanted complete control over the direction of each stretch, I could use draw assist. This is especially helpful when you've entered a job layout through a scratch builder. I will right click on auto draw and you'll notice that my mode has changed to draw assist. Now I'll choose where I want my fence line to start and with each click, I can determine the direction of my next stretch. Both auto draw and draw assist will only draw 90 degree corners. It's important to keep in mind that you need enough room for a stretch to be drawn. So if you are having difficulty drawing long stretches with draw assist, you can clear your drawing and change your scale. Now I can easily fit the job layout in any direction that I need by using the appropriate scale. Lastly, you can manually draw a layout in the job sketch program by using the appropriate tools. I'll click on a tool to select it, and the currently selected tool will be shown in this box in the lower left hand corner. If you need to unselect a tool, click on the empty box in the tools area and the tool selection will be cleared. I'll start with an end post, and you can see up above that my footage and angle are being calculated as I draw, so I know exactly how long my fence line is and what angles the corners are set to. I can even change the scaling of each segment as I draw so that detailed areas are easy to see on large scale jobs. To draw my fence line with more precision, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard. 
Notice that as I press my arrow key, the line inches forward by a quarter of a foot. Then I'll press my Enter key and the line has been finished without losing its precise ending point. Using these four very different drawing techniques, you can create a great job sketch for any layout. For more information about job sketch, please reference your CFS user manual or check out our other job sketch tutorial for an in-depth look at how to customize a drawing using the Job Sketch program. <laughs>